my little phallic furret. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another Pokemon Days. We've got a Life Orb heap more out there, a really weird Victor Bell, Zalugia, Resting Regirock, a Furret with a Choice Band, and a Light Screening only Bronzong. So it doesn't look like the best built team that I've ever seen. I'll switch into Bronzong just to set up the Stealth Rocks. But uh, the Victor Bell doesn't have Sunny Day, so it's not going to make use of Growth or Chlorophyll, really. And I don't see any like really big offensive sweepers. Maybe I could set up Regirock. Marowak's knockoff is super effective. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, perhaps the Steel Resistance to Dark was removed at some point. I'll go ahead and go for a Toxic, but I know he's just going to knock off again, and he is faster. So I'm basically just foddering my Bronzong, so I can uh, bring in the Victrabelle. And I hope that Heatmore is able to do something, because I really, really do like that stupid little poke. <laughs> he's grown on me quickly. Uh, Lugia is going to be a pretty big wall, so I'll probably save him for my last poke. And... If he's, if he's scared of this Victor Bell, he'll switch out and I'll get a free Sleep Powder. And if not, um, then I kind of risk it, but that's fine. Because it's more accurate than not, usually, unless I really need it. <laughs> uh, this is another battle remix from Glitch City. Artwork always is by, is by Yatan, Fire and Water Starters. Sleep Powder hits the Marowak, hell yeah! And I guess we'll go for the Power Whip, because without Sunny Day, Growth is only going to give me a .5 boost instead of doubling my uh, attack and special attack. So we'll just take some free damage, that'll be fine. If he stays in, I'm sure, pretty sure Power Whip is going to kill him, because same type attack bonus and super effective and etc, etc. Super good. Super good. Brings in his cast form. Uh, that thing takes a lot of damage from Power Whip. And I think he's gonna do Sunny Day and go Fire type, which might be cool. If he's faster, I'll take the Sunny Day, but if not, I don't want him to turn into a Fire type and burn my little Victor Bell up. So I'm gonna hit him with the Sludge Bam. Sludge Bam! <laughs> Thunderbolt! Alright. Victor Bell's doing some fucking work out here. Got one poke crippled, one poke down. Um, I guess the Stealth Rocks is helping. But Bronzong, yeah, didn't really have a lot to do anything against this team. So he sent out a Porygon 2, which I am predicting an Ice Beam from. So I think I'm going to go into Heat More. Mm -hmm. Life Orb Heat More. Show me what you got. Yeah! He Thunder Waves. Which is fine, I guess, because Heatmore is already kind of slow. I'm going to go ahead and knock off uh, what I predict is an Eviolite. Eviolite? <laughs> and that's an item that multiplies uh, both of Porygon 2's defenses by 50%, which makes him super bulky. But now that I've knocked off his Eviolite, uh, this Focus Blast is definitely going to kill as long as it hits. And as long as he doesn't crit me with whatever he has up his sleeve next. So, Porygon 2 is is a pretty awesome poke. I like him with Recover and uh, a couple status moves. There he goes. We got 11%. <laughs> we can take, we can make one or two more hits with this Life Orb. Um, but I'm predicting that whatever he sends in is gonna kill me off just because it's faster. Luckily, we do have the Sucker Punch. So, I guess we'll see how much Sucker Punch does. I know he's going to attack, so I'm not going to go for Focus Blast. Because he knows that I have it, and Heliolisk is part normal type. So it would be super effective and a really dumb thing of him to just uh, try and set something up. So there it is, Sucker Punch. I'm down to 2% and he serves me. <laughs> that was a fucking huge hit. I think 55% from the Sucker Punch. That's fucking crazy! Let's see what Furt can do in here. Um... I guess I'll trick him something. Oh no. He has choice specs. Do not trick. <laughs> I'm gonna go for double edge, I suppose. Yeah. 
I hope he doesn't have a ghost type, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he won't see it coming. No, he decides to go for the damage. An aggressive player, just like myself. A worthy opponent, yes. Furret. Right. He's so, like, middling about everything. You'd think he'd be super fast, but no. Average speed, well, slightly above average, I guess. Oh, fuck. There's a ghost type. Average attack. He definitely needs that choice band. Unfortunately, I'm locked into double edge, so I have to switch out against the Miss Magus. I'll go into Regirock, and I hope the thing doesn't have Will of the Wisp, but even if it does, we have Rest and uh, a, 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 a Chester Berry <laughs> on the Regirock. So we should be able to set up a couple of curses and uh, hit that thing with the Stone Edge and take it down. At least that's the plan. <laughs> but you know how it goes. Sometimes in the Pokemon, you can't really uh, predict how it's going to go. Unfortunately, my Sturdy is broken by that Thunderbolt that I got hit with, so, uh, if it has a super effective move, I don't think it can learn one. Maybe Focus Blast. Ah, <laughs> uh, he taunts me, so I can't curse up. Damn it! Damn it! Alright, I'm predicting Shadow Ball, so we're gonna go back into Furret. Um, and I'm gonna trick him the Choice Band, because then he'll be basically crippled and shit. Crippled as shit. Yeah. I think I just heard my roommate uh, poking around. <laughs> Sorry about that. One take. One shot, one kill. This is how we do it. Alright, so he does go for the Shadow Ball. Outstanding. Uh, we're predicting each other pretty well here. I think we're pretty evenly matched. And I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll trick him. I think Aqua Tail would do decent damage, but it's definitely not going to kill because for its attack is way too low. And he goes for the Thunderbolt. That's just fine. Hold on to this choice band and uh, pick your last move. I'll go for the Aqua Tail now just because it, it's okay damage. I know that I'm going to probably be slower, but if he decides to predict my switch and lock himself into Shadow Ball, that would be extremely fortunate. And hilarious. Oh, my little phallic furret has gone down. That that's that's strange. All right, so here comes the victory bell again, and I think a power whip is gonna do pretty good damage. Hopefully, hopefully, Miss Magus is fairly bulky. Um, yeah, that thunderbolt's not gonna do shit. So, 80%? Yeah, this thing's going down for sure. Do it again. More Power Whip. If he switches out into that Marowak, I'm gonna fucking bash that thing too. So, we're in a pretty good position here. It's three on three, but, um, it's about to be two on three, I think. So, I'm sure, I'm sure he's wondering what to do next. A little frustrated by his new choice band. God damn it, Power Whip missed. <laughs> Power miss every time. I don't know if he's gonna leave this Miss Magus in to, as fodder. I guess he is since last turn he did, but um, I don't know. I want to see what his last poke is, just so I can pick between uh, my last three pokes for which one's gonna be the cleaner upper. I guess Victor Bell and Heatmore did the most uh, this battle. It would be cool if I if I didn't use Lugia. Like, you know, because I don't need legendaries, dog. Ain't no thing. I hope that Marowak's coming in. Feed it to me, please. Please, I'm hungry. Car floor fries. That's disgusting if it's what I think it is. Car floor fries are hairy and lint covered. And power whip. And power whip. And kind of want a power whip. I hope Victor Bell is faster than this thing. I'm not completely sure about that. Yes! Yes, he is! Uh-oh, Marowak's awake. Double-edged! And he's got the rock head, so he doesn't take any damage from that. I am faster, though, so hopefully this fucking power miss is gonna hit. <laughs> you never can tell, though. Let me tell you about that, and... Um... Oh, yeah, fucking body bag. 95% on that power whip. So show me the last poke. I must know. 
I hope it's not a legendary because I don't have any really offensive legendaries. Maybe I could Toxic it or something with Lugia and try and whittle it down. Oh, it's a Gastrodon. <laughs> Fucking awesome. So here comes the Power Whip. The end, son. You're over, kid. <laughs> this has been Pokemon Days. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.